morning everybody and welcome to angling for you and this morning you join me with one of the sort of fun days short session it's sunny what does everybody think let's have a look down the edge or let's have a look at the paste so today i know i do a lot of paste fishing videos but i'm here to show you a new product and I, you know my trusty my trusty is um green swim stem and uh, marine element mix for my paste so this is not me stood here um choking you down to death to to uh, buy products and what i use but i've come across this product and i thought there were no other ba better way of doing paste uh, than that and i've come across this product and i'm going to show you how i mix it what it's about how to get in touch with them and how to try it out because it's fantastic products really good um customer service and again it's just about the angling community isn't it it's on it's on facebook it's really easy to get hold of and uh cheaper if i'm honest so the bait i'm going to use today for the paste is called green mamba so i'll bring it closer up so it is a little bit that you can see how why i'm attracted to it because it's a little bit like the swim stem paste so green mamba we'll go into how we uh, prepare that in a second normally i work a fish with um hard pellets which you can also get from from monster baits but i've got these to try not not fished with these before micro pellets are obviously great we know for feeders for everything all that kind of bits and bobs but today because of smaller fish here i'm going to feed them in conjunction with the mamba and soak them slightly and these are just a mixed variety of two mils and we're gonna put those together and have a go this is what i'm interested about really pongy now a lot of people get scared by uh, enhancers or flavorings some people don't like them they go to natural you know that that's absolutely fine with you um if you want to use that that's not a problem if you don't want to use stuff all i'm going to do is show you this one what i've used a couple of times now and i put it into my pellets and i put it into um my paste mix and things like that um and that is a bait enhancer so basically what that is is oils flavorings fishy little bits and bobs that are just going to give you that, that little bit of extra attraction and that little bit of extra flavor within your baits so go away from all the uh, the jabbering on now i'll show you how to prepare them so we've got a little bit of water and i'm just gonna put a little bit of that enhancer in there not too much um, and that's going to be for my micros so we'll, we'll pour those in and soak them and then we'll get them out of the way because everyone knows how to soak micros and then we will go on to how we do this paste so all these um, uh, monster baits uh, come with a resealable uh, top which is really helpful so where are we going to go probably a quarter of a bag because we don't we're not going to be here for hours unfortunately um, and just as we always do cover them give them only a minute and then i'm going to strain them off um so it comes under the paste now paste there's a lot of way, different ways people do it they're going to say oh you know you're not in a round bowl or whatever don't really care this is the way i do it this is the way i'll always do it and this is the way that i get the results if i'm doing a bigger batch i'm here for a, a long day a long session and i know i'm going to use loads and it's summer yeah i'll use a round bowl and i'll do quite a bit but I'm only here for a short session today so what I've got is a small bowl there and I've filled probably a fifth of it up with water I'm just going to strain these pellets first because we don't want these pellets to go too wet as you know from all of your soaking pellets they'll continue to absorb so we're going to get all that, all that water out of those There we go, lovely colours and mixture there. Leave those to it to soak up the, the excess. As I was saying, go back to the enhancer. We're going to put a little bit more of that in, enhancer into the paste base. So again, not going crazy with it, strong stuff. Just a little uh, glug in there and we're fine. So, this is where people have the arguments. Some people add water to the paste, people, some people add paste to the water. In my opinion, it's always paste to the water so that way you can it'll you can keep adding it until you get that porridge consistency which we'll show you in a second and then moving on from that that's when you uh, know you know you've got the right consistency so start by adding 
you pace bit by bit. Got loads of little particle baits in, uh, bits in there. This is why I like this one. Mix it around with your finger, and it'll start to turn to sort of a slurry, and that's just allows you to mix the first bit in before you add your next amount of it. Right, so I'll just add a little touch more there because we might. So we'll mix that in, and I'll, I'll bring it up to camera. Ooh. So you see, mix, mixing this in with my finger, it's bringing all that moisture in. You see it now coming up to a nice paste consistency. Now, when you, when you make paste, this is when you can decide whether you want more water or less water. So I want to be able to try and swing my paste today. I want to try and swing my paste today. And this is going to be mixed up. Like I say, it's all mixed up, it's all out the corners. Bit wet at the moment, I'm going to leave it and this will firm up a little bit more and then that will be able to just nip onto the hook and we'll be able to get that out there. So join me in a couple of seconds, I'll show you what the paste looks like and we'll get out there and we'll catch some fish. Right guys, we'll go, uh, go onto the rig. The last that we're using is a, uh, is a, a 10 uh, to 12 Elite. And uh, the line we're using is 015 straight through. Um, got a sort of um, thick topped, um, thick bristled paste float. Lines all the way straight through to a size 12 uh, KKMB. And just a couple of shots. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, we'll look at the paint, looking at the paste now, as you can see, it's settled, settled down. We can, can ball it. We've got a little cat pot on there to help uh, ship that out. We'll uh, move the camera out and uh, see if we can have some fish. Hooking the paste down pretty straightforward. You've seen it in my other videos. Taking a sort of a thumb sized ball, flatten it out, put your, uh, your hook in there and close it up on it. Mold it around a little bit like a teardrop. Where it's a bit wetter today, the paste for me. Um, because of it being this time of year, I tend to have it a little bit wetter when they're a bit shyer uh, before the summer really starts. Um, so put these uh, so, so micros in the bottom first. Put in the pellet, uh, the paste, sorry. Make sure you notice which way the line goes over because that's the way you're going to tip it out so you don't get any tangles. So my paste went in from the right, so I'll tip to the right. That's the way to, uh, to look at it. Most of you will put it in from the left because you'll be right handed. Um, but obviously I'm cag handed with the paste, so ship it out, flip the, pa the pole float out of the way, tip in the paste, drag the float back over the top. Just uh, got a little bit caught up there, so I just need to put a little bit more paste on there. Just bounced it a little bit when I. Uh, I shipped it out, no big deal. The only thing you'll find with pace fishing is it's um, quite an active method, so in regards to there's a lot of um, sort of shipping in and out. Um, if that's not your thing, then pace fishing is definitely not your thing. But the amount of fish I've had on pace, it's really worth. Um, having a go. You still catch smaller fish on it but as a rule you tend to uh, tend to attract those bigger fish when you, you fish paste. So let's ship it back out and see if we can uh, get this right this time. Uh, sat nicely. Like I say, I always say if you look at my pace videos, um, you want to be only hitting bites that go want to be straight down fast or straight out of the water fast. Don't don't want to be hitting these sort of tap tap bites as I call them. That's just fish um, 
messing about with a bait. Good pace back, they just slurp it in and uh, it'll uh, usually just pull the float straight under. Nice ghosty topping behind the float, which hopefully means that there's some, uh, some fish about. And this first fish. Lovely bite straight under. Don't feel like a huge fish. It's taking him out of the swim. Yep. Monster baits, uh, Mamba going straight to work. start with. Let's get him back. See if we can uh, have another one. Obviously the other good thing about um, having the mamba is uh, it, uh, it works great as a ground bait for down the edge and it also um, works fantastic on the method. The reason that I sort of, apart from the green um, that I always do with the swim stem uh, that attracted to me is the fact that it's essentially got its own particles in there as well and I always see that as a, as a big plus and you know for attractiveness it, it, it certainly um, draws fish in and there certainly is, is uh, a bait to have down the edge and, to, and on the method that, that's fantastic but also uh, with the paste, um, it's putting a almost a, a dissolving parcel uh, with particles and everything in there. I mean, so great fish uh, attractor. Feel, looks like there's a few fish down there. Floats not settling uh, too well, which mean, usually means there's some fish um, around and about. Another fish. Good, uh, great bite that one. A nice one of these stockies. Perfectly up to the lip. That size, uh, size 12 comes through the paste, that's why you need a slightly bigger hook. Yeah, it's that nice little, another nice little mirror sticking back in. And uh, I've seen a few bigger fish uh, sort of cruising around, so I am uh, I'm hopeful that they'll, uh, that they'll come and be drawn into the peg. Obviously, that. That mamba uh, working very quickly and getting this fish, uh, this fish sort of on it, which is what we want. These uh, micro pellets, really, really like these. I can't wait to, uh, to fish these on the on the method. The uh, the the, the uh, soak really well, so I did them for about a minute um, and strained them out, obviously with that enhancer in it, and they they come up to a perfect texture. He was uh, used to obviously the big brands and and how they uh, they make pellets and often people overlook the uh, smaller brands and things like that. But um, you know, some great stuff out there, some great brands. And as you as you know, as I'm not biased to to any 
any brand um, and I'm welcome to you know try out new products on, on air just to showcase it for you but if it, it, it gets my honest opinion and if, uh, if they're not if they're not doing the business they're not doing the business and this one is uh, definitely doing the business on it This fish to, uh, to finish with. Looks perfectly on the lip. Still put full plenty of beans. It's nice, nice fish to end on. Let's get him back in. Find out where that hook is. Right. As you can see, it's a numbers a great bait. A few other plans uh, to do videos with it. Um, as always, join us on the Facebook group and a few. On the Instagram at Anglin underscore for you. Like us, subscribe, subscribe, guys. Talent.